Ready? Uh-huh. Once upon a time, long ago, there was a little boy born in a little town. He was perfect, or so his mother thought. But one thing was different about him. He had a golden <laughs> screw in his belly button, just the head <laughs> peeping out. Now, his mother was simply glad he had all his fingers and toes to count with. But as the boy grew up, he realized not all boys had screws in their belly buttons, let alone golden ones. He asked his mother what it was for, but she didn't know. Next, he asked his father, but his father didn't know. He asked his grandparents, but they didn't know either. That settled it for a while, but kept nagging him. Finally, when he was old enough, he packed a bag and set out, hoping he could find someone who knew the truth of it. He went from place to place, asking everyone who claimed to know something about anything. He asked nurses and doctors, but they couldn't make heads or tails of it. The boy asked wizards, tradesmen, and old hermits living in the woods, but no one had ever seen anything like it. He went to ask Cecilda merchants, thinking that if anyone knew something about gold, it would be them, but the merchants didn't know. He went to the engineers at the university, thinking that if anyone knew something about screws and workings, they would, but the engineers didn't know. The boy followed the road over the border wall to visit the witch women of the southern forest, but none of them could give an answer. Eventually, he went to the king of men, the richest king in the world, but the king didn't know. He went to the Emperor of Ator, but even with all his power, the Emperor didn't know. He went to each small kingdom, one by one, but no one could tell him anything. Finally, the boy went to the High King of Modig, the wisest of all the kings in the world. The High King looked closely at the head of the golden screw, peeping from the boy's belly button. Then, the High King made a gesture, and a special servant brought out a pillow of gold and silk. On that pillow was a gold box. The king took a gold key from around his neck and opened the box. And inside was a golden screwdriver. The king took the golden screwdriver and motioned the boy to come forward. Trembling, excitement the boy did. Then the high king took the gold screwdriver and put it in the boy's belly button. Then the high king carefully turned the gold screw. Once, nothing. Twice, nothing. Then he turned the third time. The boy